It'll be Osborne and many Littles at the midcourt stride to tip it away, and it goes to the Seminoles. Raekwon Gray gives it up to Trent Forrest to get a start. Important uh, kind of uh, day for the Knowles. Pass stolen away from Malik Osborne. Trent Forrest has made eight threes this year. That was the shot fake, but the forward from the Virgin Islands. Forrest with the dribble penetration. Puts up the floater and connects. And now here is James driving on the baseline. Malik Osborne with the block, and MJ Walker comes back the other way. Seminoles looking to push in transition. Osborne lays it in. It's 6 0. The big fellow when he runs, he gets a block on one end, sprints the floor, and you gotta get him a touch because he'll keep doing it for you. Another block for the Seminoles, and it caroms out of play. Trying to replace that toughness um, is something that this team's been working on, but so far, so uh, so good in the beginning of this ball game. This team may, team may be a 60 plus uh, point a night team, but it's going to get done on defense in the floor, and it starts with guys like Devin Russell and as well as Trent Forrest. Yeah, this North Alabama team, again, Anthony Guo does a really good job of mixing it up defensively. Again, they came out of the break in a 1-2-2, dropped back into a 1-2-2 zone. They some big-time games, and they've been in those games. C.J. Brim with the finger roll gets North Alabama back within a point. They're going to face night in and night out. Anthony Polite and Raekwon Evans checking in for the Seminoles. Copra Vitsa and one. Sell with the feed to Kopravica. Great pass, great finish. Tone with the length that they have, they're trying to throw it at the rim and get those lobs. Raekwon Evans on the drive, lays it in, and he's on the board. Off early in the year with a hamstring injury, and it's kind of taking him time to get back into it. But I mean, he's a guy who they're looking for to give us really good, to give us a really good backup minutes. But one of the things that that goes back to what's been in the roots of Coach Leonard Hamilton has been that the pass. Anthony Polite is rewarded for yet another steal. Trent Forrest with it at midcourt. Kopravica sets the screen. And Forrest picks up the basket and one. The day in practice was the fact that for them to be able to get paint touches and then be able to get over top. And again, you saw Anthony Polite on Brim. Brim with the kick to Blackman for Great three pass. from the wing. Great pass. Light on the drive, picks up another couple of points. Time to play 2-3, and right now you see him in his 2-3 zone. It's a basic 2-3 zone, nothing special. But again, can cause you some problems. Great move that time by Raekwon Gray. Vassell picks the pocket of Youngblood. Forrest back to Vassell. Here's Malik Osborne, top of the key the three. And you can see the reason why so far with the 17 point lead for the state has forced so far eight turnovers. They've got five steals, uh, two blocks. And again, I think that, you know, so for some of these guys who've been around the Trent Forrest or the Raekwon Grays, these guys are going to have to get used to this a little bit because of the fact that it's moving. This team's got some good, uh, they've got good looks at it. Irvin James, pull up three. Tend to shoot here for the Seminoles. Osborne working down low, trying to establish that post position and knocks down the jumper. Again, right here on the defensive end of the floor. I mean, offensive end of the floor for Florida State. This is what gets this basketball club in trouble. MJ Walker just two threes away from hitting 100 in his Florida State career. Patrick Williams, the sensational freshman. Move, if keep Pat Williams and keep him at the three and then move Wyatt Wilkes to the four. So this will be an interesting uh, little lineup that we have in right here. String of five points now for Patrick Williams. The thing is that, that happened just a minute ago was with uh, Pat Williams is when he got subbed out, Leonard Hamilton really kind of got on him a little bit, and you see the freshman respond well when he came back in. Coach sat him down. Davidson alongside Adrian Crawford, Aria Masuti, the third member of our team. Great play. And Vassell throws down another one. Vassell comes crashing in. Brim tries to recover. MJ Walker steals it away. Now here's Malik Osborne who dunks it for Florida State. He's got 14. That is a new FSU high. Evans on the drive.
Great job that time by Raekwon Evans going through, driving through contact and getting that strong finish. In and out on the three ball attempt. He will collect that ball back off the steal. Now here's Osborne who had it blocked by look like Mervyn James. Sent from the floor. Vassell with the pass out to Forrest. That ball in and out. Rebound wrestled down by Agnew. In traffic, Osborne with another block. Now five, James on the drive. Spin move, puts it up, cannot connect. Littles with the rebound, he will finish. Forrest on the baseline, drive, pass too hot through the hands of Raekwon Gray. And Agnew lays it in in transition. Anthony Polite with the pass across to Patrick Williams. Made a three earlier, he's made another one. Such a master of knowing the psyche of players, but um, again, he kind of got on him a little bit when he, when he brought him out. And ever since that time, he's come back in, and this kid is even that right there is what Patrick Williams does well is the fact that he's just so efficient. That pass right there, though a lot of people wouldn't see it as a great play, he's already made. Again, he just knocked down a three before. Ball gets moving. It's been a great, great rotation of rhythm to be able to, to knock that shot. I, I know that that was quite something, wasn't it? Cooper Pizza. He's definitely going to need, um, you know, Raekwon Evans. I mean, all these guys who are playing right now, he's definitely going to need them as the year goes on. And so. Hello. Welcome to Double Figures. Balsa Cooper Vitsa. Four Seminoles have now scored 10 or more points here so far this afternoon. Great now here's Anthony Great. Polite. Yes, sir. Gets back to his hand, makes a great skip pass to the corner again. Coming out of high school, I mean, he was known for two things, his ability to shoot the basketball. But again, as the games evolve, and again, this is credit to Coach Hamilton and the staff, they've evolved with the game of basketball. But also, as we said earlier, keeping the same messaging of that junkyard dog defense. The best offense might be forcing those turnovers in the full court press and traps and trying to get quick twos that way. And I think that lineup of, of the small ball allowed them to do that a little bit better. What you're going to need is because more than anything else, I think the small ball lineup, as you were saying, is the fact of being able to play five guys who can switch all screens. Big Ten ACC challenge. I mean, if there was any other team like a Duke or a Carolina that was putting up these kinds of numbers, I think we'd look at it. And him, he spent a lot of time working on his defense and rebounding so that he could be more of that cog in that FSU basketball wheel, who also has been dealing with injury issues throughout the first couple of years. He's here in Tallahassee, just a redshirt sophomore, and starting to realize that potential. Three more. James Anderson is at the hot hand of late. He knocks that ball away from Patrick Williams, who reestablishes possession. Now here's Nate Jack for three from the wing. That was a deep one, and Jack connects. Filling it up in practice, and the key's just been getting them going in games. Well, Wyatt Wilkes has established himself more and more often, and now here's Nate Jack. Lead cut to 15, Polite breaks into the double-digit column. Harrison Prieto back out to Linder. Now 10 left on the shot clock. He lays it up. Well, and tell you. Gets the roll. Inside five. Here's Light. He'll put it up at the buzzer. Not quite. It'll be a 17-point win for number 17 here at the Tucker Center. Non-conference play in the regular season has come to a close.